Pokemon Phenomenon, a state where the trainer and their Pokemon become so in sync with one another that they are able to combine and fuse together without the use of a keystone. The only known Pokemon capable of doing so is Ash Greninja. But that raises the question, how come Ash isn't fused with any other Pokemon other than Greninja? Or better yet, why couldn't he fuse with Pikachu? The name's Pokey, and in this video we answer a strange but valid question. Why didn't we see a Ash Pikachu? First off, the reason why this topic is so frustrating is because of the rules behind Bond Phenomena itself. You see, Bond Phenomenon occurs when a trainer and their Pokemon's Bond reaches to such a level they gain a special form due to their synchronization. So technically speaking, this means that Ash not only had a stronger Bond than his other Pokemon, but even his very first one, Pikachu. But in reality, that's not really the case, at least for Pikachu that is. You see, the Pokemon previous to Greninja and so forth can actually use the whole Ash love fighting alongside Greninja more than everyone else argument. But here's the reasons as to why Pikachu didn't get a special form in the anime, and there's quite a few of them. Let's start off with the reason people kind of just agreed upon, which is they needed a sort of MacGuffin for the X and Y series. This honestly isn't a bad theory, and here's why. You see, the X and Y games were kind of put under the dirt, since their sequels were scrapped during development, and since they were already going to happen, the anime was probably preparing as such after the conclusion of the Black and White series. They didn't have much to work with, especially since the X and Y games were so short and rushed, which made it so hard to make this an actual long-running anime series, which is a huge problem for the franchise. You see, Pokemon focuses on a tight schedule. The anime, TCG, manga, and the games have to steadily work in unison, and one cannot move without the other. Since all of them rely on the games to make new regions, they need to actually extend the running in their respective series. Which is why there's so many TCG sets based off the same region, same goes for the anime making a part 2 of an already running series like X and Y, XY Chaos Quest, and XYZ. And of course the manga is the same way with Ruby and Sapphire and then the Oras manga. So because of keeping true to the schedule, the anime needed some huge plot point to keep fans interested for so long, that way they can wait until Game Freak releases the next mainline series Pokemon game. And because this was the main debut of Mega Evolution, they needed to tie it into that, and what better way to make a form relating to Mega Evolution but in typical anime anime fashion make it more special and unique to the MC to kind of separate it from everyone else. And then Ash Greninja was born, so people kind of assumed they just needed Ash Greninja for XYZ and they didn't really need to bring another new form since it wouldn't really make sense to show a form so similar to Mega Evolution in a series like Sun and Moon where it's all about Z moves. So the fans just went with it and carried on their merrily gotta catch them all away. But unlike them, I actually think there's a much bigger reason to that, but I can't actually take all the credits and someone actually gave me the idea to make this video in the first place. If someone could find the person who talked about what I'm about to say, please let me know who it is because I can't find the comment anymore. I know it sucks, I'm sorry. But I actually had this idea for a while now, but this person gave me the ignition to actually further upon it. And that is where we come to the main reason as to why I believe Pikachu never got a new form. And that is because he actually didn't need one. Or better yet, he already had one. Let me explain. Now I am joking a bit when I said Pikachu had a new form, but I'm not lying in the sense that Pikachu actually got something that is the equivalent of Bond Phenomenon, that being the Picanium Z move. You see, Z moves work the same way that Megas do. The stronger the bond between trainer and Pokemon, the stronger the Z move. But that's already the basis of a regular Electrium Z move. But when Ash and Pikachu obtain a new Z move, which is later known as the Picanium Z, this is blatant proof that Ash and his Pikachu's bond went even further beyond that of his regular Pokemon. So much so that he was actually able to manifest it at will during multiple different battles throughout Sun and Moon and even Journeys. So that's pretty much the reason as to why Pikachu never got a new form. It's because he had a different gimmick that revolved around the same concept of bond. Now with that question answered, why not answer a few more questions that you guys might be wondering? With the first one probably being, why didn't Pikachu just have a bond phenomenon like Ash Greninja? before even using a Z-move in the first place. Now, I can give you an answer, but there's no guarantee it's the right one, because at the end of the day, the only real right one is the fact that the writers just didn't invent Bond Phenomenon until Gen 6. But here's my theory. I believe that Pikachu and Ash's relationship simply just didn't get to that level yet, and I know that's gonna make a lot of people mad, but hear me out at least. From the beginning, Pikachu disliked Ash, and they had to build a strong bond throughout the Indigo League series. Now let me preface by saying that I'm not trying to say that Pikachu still hated Ash for the course of six future generations, but that it simply just didn't reach the level in order to initiate Bond Phenomenon. It also doesn't mean that Ash preferred some of his other Pokemon over Pikachu, because that is simply not true, but their bond wasn't at the required amount to enter the state. Pikachu and Ash definitely reached that same level of bond by the end of the series that he and his Greninja did, and possibly even more so. And with that question out of the way, we move on to the second one. Now I know a lot of you guys were probably going to say something about Greninja as the only Pokemon with Battle Bond as its ability, so that's why he got the form and Pikachu didn't. And let me start off by saying you couldn't be any more wrong. For starters, we are blatantly told that Bomb Phenomenon isn't exclusive to Greninja and was actually form found within many different kinds of Pokemon and trainers. It was just that it was really rare, as stated by Professor Sycamore. So I'm hoping I cleared up any misunderstandings. And now let's answer one last question that you and even I are probably wondering. Why did the Pokemon Company choose Ash and Greninja to be the first ones on screen to have Bond Phenomenon? And there are layers to this, so let me explain. First off, they wanted Ash to have some sort of Mega to kind of promote the new gimmick in the XY anime, because obviously they wanted to take advantage of it since this was Mega Evolution's first debut. But as you and I both know, 
for some odd freaking reason, the Kalos region didn't have any Megas of its own, and they wanted to promote a Pokemon that at least started the Kalos region, since Ash was going to have a full team compromise of Kalos Pokemon. And what better way to promote the Kalos region than to use one of the starters that was a part of the region itself, that being Greninja. And soon after that, Greninja was actually able to be a part of the Sun and Moon demo, and the rest was history. Now I do want to start off by saying I really wish they do more about Bond Phenomenon in the future. I think that Bond Phenomenon is one of the coolest things in the Pokemon franchise, and the idea of it being revolved around the synchronization of both the trainer and Pokemon is just so freaking cool. But speaking about seeing Bond Phenomenon in the future, Legend ZA is right around the corner, and my future video is going to touch on not only Bond Phenomenon, but Ash Greninja's return. So if you guys are excited to watch that, I highly recommend you subscribe, because it's coming out soon. But wait, wait, wait. Before you guys click off the video, I just wanted to say that I have a Discord server filled with a bunch of Pokemon content, and I just wanted to say if you guys enjoy showing off your card collection, battling against other trainers, trading, or seeing sneak peeks of my videos, then I highly recommend you join. The link will be in the description, as well as the pinned comment on this video. But anyways guys, I am really grateful for you staying till the end, and if you enjoyed this video, could you hit the subscribe button for me? Me and my dog buddy would really appreciate it. But jokes aside, have a good day friends. Peace.